Hi everyone! This video will demonstrate how to recode variables in R using the tidyverse. We're going to start with a new notebook. I'm going to call it the uh, recoding variables in R notebook. I'm going to get rid of the template code and we'll start by installing packages. And so I'm going to install the Haven package to download SPSS files, and then I'm going to install the tidyverse to help with recoding and reshaping the data. All right, next I'm going to import the data from an OSF project. I'm going to use the read underscore sav function to do this. <clears throat> and then we can look at the data by pressing on data set. What I've noticed in other videos, I'm sure you did as well, is that these numbers are kind of inscrutable. So <clears throat> we know that trading type refers to whether the training was based on attitudes or identification, but all we have are ones, and if we scroll all the way down, and twos. And EC refers to the goal of the training. What's the goal of the training to reduce bias or maintain bias? But all we have are ones and zeros. And IAT order refers to which IAT was completed first. Was it the attitude IAT or the identification IAT? But all we have here are ones and twos. Now, What's great about uh, Haven is that um, if we go down to the console, um, we'll see that when Haven imports a file, an SPSS file, it doesn't destroy the label. So I know in my original SPSS data file, I took the time to go to variable view and I, I entered in all the value, all the labels and all the values so that in the future I would know what all these numbers meant. But now in R, I can't see any of them, except that uh, I can if I know where to look. Um, so once, one thing we can do is we can go, um, uh, we can just look at, say, the training type variable. And it prints out all the training type values. At the bottom, though, it tells you the labels. It tells you that one refers to the uh, identification training, and two refers to the attitude training. But wouldn't it be great if when we looked at data set, that's what we saw, instead of having to look at these numbers? Well, there's a way to do that. I'm going to call this next section uh, uh, cleaning the data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new version of dataset. I'm going to call it dataset.factor, or factors, so I know that this is the version of dataset in which I'm dealing with factors instead of numbers. And I'm going to assign it the output of the function as underscore factor. And I'm going to pass dataset to as underscore factor. And what will happen is, as underscore factor will uh, look at every variable in dataset and decide or and determine if there are these labels attached to the values. And if they are, it's going to change the numbers to the labels. So I'm going to press play on that. And now we have a new variable called dataset.factors in the environment. I press it. We can now see that uh, our data set is much more meaningful. We now know what we don't have numbers now, we now have the actual labels. So now everything is um, much more clear to any user of this data set. So that's a very helpful function. However, uh, well, I'll say this. This is great um, in terms of uh, being able to know what these values mean at first glance. It's also great if you're doing an ANOVA. You can use these variables as is, as 
um, you know, independent variables in an ANOVA, but there could be situations where you don't want labels like this, and what you want are effect codes. So I'm going to show you really quickly now how to create effect codes. To recode the variables to uh, effect codes, we're going to use the recode function. And we're going to do it one variable at a time. So we'll start with dataset.factors, and we'll start with training type. We're going to assign it the output of the recode function. So the recode function is going to work on dataset.factors training type, and it's going to, um, let's see, every time we see SC training, turn that into a 1. And every time we see EC training, turn that into a negative one. I'm going to make one more change to this line of code here. We've got training type. I don't want to destroy the original variable, so I'm going to change this to training type effect codes. So what will happen is we're going to create a new variable called training type effect codes in the data set dot factors uh, data frame, and it's going to be assigned the output of this recode function. What recode will do is it's going to look at every value of training type, and if it's SC training, turn it into a one, and if it's EC training, turn it into a negative one. And so now when we look at dataset.factors, there should be a new variable at the end. Yes, there is called training type effect codes. And it should be one every time it says SC training. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we see negative one every time there's EC training. And so I think those two tricks, understanding how Haven saves the labels from SPSS data files, and also understanding how to use this recode function are going to be your best tools when you're trying to recode variables in R.